Example 5.3 or 6.3 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. Steam is leaving a 4 liter pressure cooker whose operating pressure is equal to 150 kilopascals. It is observed that the amount of liquid in the cooker has decreased by 0.6 liters in 40 minutes after a steady operation conditions are established. The cross-sectional area of the exit is equal to 8 millimeters square. We need to determine the mass flow rate of the steam and the exit velocity. Also the total um, flow energies of the steam per unit mass and the rate at which energy leaves the cooker by the steam. The first task is to determine the mass flow rate of the steam. In order to do that, we need to determine the actual mass that we had initially inside of the cooker. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to use the um, specific volume that it had originally. Notice that the, the pressure originally was 150 kilopascals, and we are going to assume that the uh, fluid inside was uh, saturated liquid water. So the specific volume that we're going to use is going to be 0 0.001053 meter cubed per kilogram. With this value, we'll be able to find the amount of the mass initially and then the mass flow rate. In order to determine the mass flow rate, we need to determine the amount of liquid that has exited the pressure cooker and steam. So the idea of the mass is going to be equal to the change in the volume of the liquid divided by the specific volume of the liquid. So the idea is what the amount of liquid that has been uh, decreased in terms of the volume inside of the pressure cooker is what has exit as a steam and the assumption is whatever is inside of the pressure cooker is still in liquid form. Therefore, the change that we have in pressure in volume is going to be equal to 0.6 liters. And the specific volume as found in the table was 0 0.010053 meter cubed per kilogram. And then we know that 1000 liters are in one meter cubed, liter and liter cancels, meter cubed and meter cubed cancels, and then the final value for this quantity is 0 0.570 kilograms, which is the unit of mass. The next step is to calculate the mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is simply the value of the mass divided by the change in time that we had. We calculated the mass to be 0 0.570 kilograms, and the time it last elapsed in this process was 40 minutes. And we know that in one minute, there are 60 seconds, so minute to minute cancelled. And then at the end, we're left with a mass flow rate of 2.37 times 10 to the negative 4 kilograms per second. The next step is to calculate the exit velocity. For that, we're going to use another relationship for mass flow rate, which is density, velocity, and cross sectional area. We could also write this instead of density, we could do it as a specific volume. So it's volume, cross-sectional area, and a specific volume. Since it's an exit velocity, the fluid is coming out as an steam. So we need to go to the table to find out what is the value of the specific volume for steam at that particular pressure. We go to 150, and we see that the gas specific volume is equal to 1.15. 94 meter cube per kilogram. So we substitute those values and we solve for the velocity. So the velocity is simply going to be the mass flow rate that we already calculated, the specific volume for the steam, and the cross sectional area. We said that the specific volume for the steam, according to the table, is equal to 1.1594 meter cubed per kilogram. So when we substitute the value, the velocity at the exit going to be the mass flow rate 2.37 times 10 to the negative 4 kilograms per second the specific volume which is 1.594 meter cube per kilogram and the cross-sectional area was given by the problem to be equal to 8 millimeters square and we multiplied that a thousand millimeter square is equal to one meter square. The ending value for this equation tells us that the velocity 
at the exit is equal to 34.3. Notice that we cancel the units, kilograms cancels with kilograms. This is millimeters millimeter squared with millimeter squared cancels over here. We got meter cubed, meter squared, so it becomes meters. Meters per second is the unit for velocity. The next step is to calculate the total and the flow energies of the steam per unit mass. Let's start with the th total. Um, theta is equal to the addition of the enthalpy, the kinetic energy, and the potential energy. We are going to find the value of enthalpy by going to the tables. We have a steam, and we're assuming that it's living as a uh, saturated vapor at 150 kilopascals. We find that the value of enthalpy is equal to 2693.1. So the amount of theta is going to be equal to 2693.1 kilojoules kilograms. If we use the value of the velocity that we had from the previous step, which was 34.3 meters per second, we find that the value of the kinetic energy is around 0.6 kilojoules per kilogram, which is an amount quite negligible to the amount that we have for enthalpy. So we are going to um, assume that the value of the kinetic energy and the value of the potential energy are zero. Therefore, uh, we simply said that the amount of the total energy is simply equal to the amount of enthalpy, which is 2693.1 kilojoules per kilogram. Now that we have determined that the value of kinetic energy and potential energy are negligible, we're going to use the definition of enthalpy to find the amount of the flow energy. Enthalpy is defined as the, as the amount of internal energy plus the amount of uh, flow work that you're going to have in the system. To, to find the flow work is going to be the difference between enthalpy and internal energy at that pressure. So we go to the tables again and we found the amount of internal energy as a saturated uh, vapor. In this case is going to be 2519.2. So we go back over here and we find that the amount of energy flow is equal to the value that we got for enthalpy, which is 2693.1, minus the value that is from U, which is 2591.2. And both of these quantities are in kilojoules per kilogram. Therefore, the amount of uh, flow energy for this particular case is 173.1 kilojoules per kilogram. The next step is to calculate the rate at which um, energy leaves the cooker by the steam. That is simply evaluated by the energy, uh, the change of energy due to the mass. That is equal to the mass flow rate times the total energy. And we evaluate that simply by saying 2.37 times 10 to the negative 4 kilograms per second. And this is equal, multiplied by 36, uh, 2693.1 kilojoules per kilogram. Notice kilogram and kilogram cancels and this gives us 0.638 and kilojoules per second is the same thing as a kilowatt which is a unit of uh, uh, the rate of energy change.